that me, Mom? <laughs> Thank you, McGill. Mama, it's for your own good. I don't want to talk about it, Luis. But you can save money on the mortgage every month, money you can use for your retirement fund. I already told you, I will not take your father's name off the deed. But it's the only way that you can refinance the mortgage. Have your husband declared dead or divorce him. No. Why in the world would you sacrifice your own security for a man who abandoned you and this family? Or is dead? He didn't abandon us. Papa would never do that. He loved us. I know he's alive. I know it in my heart. You can light all the candles you want, Mama. He's not coming home. Yes, he will. Stop it, Louise. Can't you see you're upsetting Mama? I'm sorry, Mama. I don't want to hurt you. I just want what's best for you. I know, Louise. I know you mean well. But your father, he was a good man. And I don't like to hear you speak ill of him. I still remember the last day I saw him. He left for work at Crane Industries in the morning. He kissed me goodbye. He told me he loved me and I never saw him again. No one did. He didn't even report to work. Luis, didn't you try to find him when you became a cop? Yeah. I questioned workers at Crane Industries. I even questioned some executives. No one knew anything. The Cranes destroy anyone they come in contact with. I won't let them hurt anyone else in this family. You shouldn't be so critical of the Cranes, Luis. They've been very nice to me. You've earned every measly cent they've paid you. Mrs. Crane is very generous. I consider her a friend. I have news, Mama. She only considers you a servant. That's not true. You don't even know her. I know the Cranes, and they've caused nothing but disaster for this family. The sooner we cut all ties with them, the better. And the fastest way we can do that is for you to divorce your husband so we can refinance the house and you can save money every month. I don't want to discuss it. Mama. You have to face reality. Papa is not coming back. Don't say that. Luis, enough. You're upsetting Mama. She has to make a decision on this. She doesn't have to make it tonight. Mama? Please. Don't let Luis upset you, Mama. He just gets carried away sometimes. He, he didn't mean anything. Yeah. He was just saying what he thought was best for our family. It's the way he says it. He just can be so hard sometimes. He's made a lot of sacrifices for this family. Sacrifices you don't even know about. So if sometimes his words seem a little harsh, remember, his heart is good. I know, Mama. And I feel guilty I don't always do my share. Oh, you're a good girl, Teresa. You are. Luis thinks I waste my time dreaming about things that can never come true. Oh, but you should dream. You should have plenty of dreams. You're young. There'll be time enough for you to realize that the world, well, it's not exactly like the one you read about in those magazines. Still, I do have one dream that can come true. I dream that one day Ethan Crane will come to our door. <laughs> Ethan Crane, come here. Why would he do that? I don't know, but in my dream he does, and it will change my life and our entire family. <laughs> Ethan Crane coming here. Oh, sweetie. Teresa, that's more than a dream. That's a fantasy. I know. Could you imagine a crane coming to this neighborhood? Mama, I got a message for you. There won't be any news on Sheridan Crane until tomorrow. How do you know about Sheridan? Ethan told him, just now. Ethan Crane was here? At her house? 